I tell you, I had some vacation. I, you know, I try to do something nice, and it always backfires because I work with idiots. I got to tell you. What did you do? What? What did you do that was supposed to be nice? Well, you know, uh, a friend of ours was very ill. <clears throat> it was sick. And so uh, while she was uh, convalescing in bed, she was recuperating. Yeah. My wife went to visit her and stuff, and she, she's laying around. You know, there's not a whole bunch of things to do. So she mentioned she loves when Seinfeld comes on TV. Because when Seinfeld comes on TV, it cheers her up. It's, it's one of her favorite shows. Mm -hmm. So. Not in my face. Please. You know, Ralph tapes Seinfeld. And he has every Seinfeld episode on these two video cassettes. So my wife says, I'm going to get these video cassettes. I would like to send them to you. It's every Seinfeld episode. Which I thought was nice of my wife. Now, I wasn't even involved. My wife was handling it. Yeah. Had nothing to do with me. This is my wife's friend, you know, the whole thing. So uh, I get a hold of these Seinfeld cassettes. And because they're Ralph's, I don't want to give away Ralph's tapes. I want to have my make copies of them. So, you know, in my employee is uh, Ganji. <laughs> Ganji the retard. Ganji the nitwit. Ganji, Ganji who is going nowhere in life fast. I told you, never give him great responsibility. You know, it's funny. I, uh, <laughs> I, I gave Ganji some dough to work, work for me because I felt bad for him. He was working for free. But he really is a nitwit. Never checks his work. Doesn't do anything right. You don't do anything right. I do everything no, right. No, you don't. You know what? I, I got to go back and check. Right. He's been doing lots of taping and stuff oh, for me. Yeah. Have and you, you gotten, never checked have you on it? I've never the... checked any of it. How do I know? Because we've sent it to a billion and a half people. That's yeah, why. We sent what to a billion and a half Every people? Every stuff that we make, we send. Oh, oh stuff no one looks at your work. No one checks your work. I check my work. You check it. Yes. All right. Well, let me tell you how he checks his work. Okay. Let me continue the story. <laughs> I'll, you tell me if he checks his work. Because the two times I've checked his work so far, they've been wrong. Uh, what two times is that? Here's what I ask him to do for a living for me. I pay him to do this. Take a VCR and another VCR and make copies of tapes that I have. Right. That's all he does for me. He makes copies of tapes. Can you make copies of tapes? Yes. If you give me that job, I could do it. Do you think a five-year-old can make copies of tapes? I think if you showed him once, they'd be able to do it. Now, the only time... I have him ta taping hundreds of things. But the one thing I once checked was I had him make a tape for my parents. I had him make a, a copy of some of the uh, old movies, the family movies. Sure. They got it. It was all black. All blanked out. <laughs> all right. That was one time. Your fault, the equipment. Oh, oh, okay. So you, but you check your work. I, I do, yeah. So uh, why don't you check your work and find that it was faulty? Because sometimes, you what? Know, with this problem that we had, and we've already talked about yeah. this. Yeah. The problem that we had was Let that me hear the this. beginning, it was okay. And the, 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 the whole tape was tape. blank. The whole tape, Ganji. The whole tape. So you just checked why the beginning of the tape? The tape? Why don't you why spot you check you your work? Because, well, of course, do you My want parents to threw it out. They never even brought it up to me. I asked them how they liked the tape. They told me it was all blank. Do you want me to sit there and watch four hours of tape? You never Do you know what spot check is? You ever hear fast forward? of course. No, he works slow as a turtle. So listen to this. Have this guy making dubs for me. That's his job. No wonder dub and dumb are so close <laughs> in spelling. Just one letter. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know why he bothers going through the charade. Why don't you just give my parents a blank tape still in the wrapper? <laughs> why do you go through the charade of pretending like you put something on it? So anyway, this, this woman friend of ours was sick, and she was laying in bed, and Ganji, I asked him to make a copy of the Seinfeld shows. Hey, you're going to think I made this story up that I'm telling you, but I'm not making it up. So, you know, uh, because we send out so many tapes and things, whatever I have tape laying around, Ganji takes and tapes over it. Because, you know, we, we just send out a tremendous amount of tape. I get a letter from this woman's husband. <clears throat> and he says, uh, look, I'm sending back this tape. Now, this woman's husband has uh, spent two years in the priesthood, by the way. Two years preparing to be a priest and then left and became a husband. Oh, no. Oh, no. And uh, he says, I'm sending this back. I don't like your idea of a cruel joke. Oh, no. oh what did he send, Howard? He sent them a porno movie. <gasps> oh! With nothing on it. Howard, And you know what? You want to know something? It, it's, it's funny. I know everyone's having a good laugh, but i got to tell you something. No, but he's probably thinking that's a typical Howard Stern. And it happened. He thought it was like an April Fool's joke or yeah. something. Like, Howard Stern, what a funny guy. Yeah. He says he's sending a Seinfeld tape. First of all, I had nothing to do with it. Why he sent me the letter, I don't know. That was the thing that pissed me off. Send it to my wife. She's the actor who's involved with everybody. <laughs> but, Ganji, what's your story? What you, tell me what you're up to. That are you up to ruining me? Yes, absolutely. I'm trying you to are? You. That was All right, well, at least you're honest. 
You know, the guy enjoyed probably the Chinese enema tape, <laughs> thanks to you. Oh, Oof, I well, can't imagine what he said. I, I have it in your bag. And you uh, have the tape? Yeah. Good. And it goes, you know, it, I'll tell you exactly what's on the tape. There's Is there about, any Seinfeld on there? None. None. There's about five seconds of, like, a Letterman show. Yeah. And then there's a little snow, and then it goes right to pornography. And when I, I mean, when I say pornography, there's like, people aren't taking their clothes off. I mean, it's like, there's a naked doing, woman doing herself with her, her, her toes are pointing towards the ceiling. Wow. Working on herself. I know. Exactly. Yes. With dildos? Yes. Oh. No, 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 manually. Manually. Oh. oh and this is a sick woman. I thought I told you not to be stupid, you moron. Wow. <laughs> How could you do that to me? You never looked at And these aren't the kind of people of who tape? get the joke. Don't you check your work? That was a rush job, yes. A I, rush job? That was, that was a rush job. I can't tell you how this... So everyone said I should fire Ganji? Oh, it was one mistake. Wow, oh, come on. Man. That's a pretty major mistake. Oh, it is not. That's a whopper. There's I apologize. people out there now thinking he's a real scum because of you. Yeah. We sent three tapes. Two of them were right. One, ha one not happened not to tape over. Oh, Maybe the tape Ganji. was loose when we, when we covered the little... Uh, no, you know what I think happened? I, you, know what I hap you know what I happen to think happened here? What? What happened? I think you're so uh, addle-brained that you... <laughs> and no, it has nothing to do with me I think you look... What college did you go to? C.W. Post. Okay. I rest my case. C.W. Post. All I ask the guys, please make copies. Make copies. God knows you can't screw that up. Oh, what would you have me do? Why don't you send a copy of that duty video to my parents? <laughs> why don't you just why don't you just mail it to them? Yeah. Little mistake. Little mistake. I mean, so these I'm are the wrong people to make a mistake. With not that I care. We were trying to do something nice. But at the same point, I mean you could pay a little attention yeah. to what you do for me. I, I don't know why I, I keep you around. I never fire anybody. I will make sure now doubly that I that I check every single thing. Yeah, but now, now you're gonna slow down to the point where you hardly do anything. <laughs> well I'll watch day. every video then Yeah, that's what I mean. You, know, you have to spot check just to see that something's on there. I I will definitely And why don't you want to bulk erase stuff? Yeah, well, I'm definitely gonna do that tape. Now. Yeah, erase the tape. Yeah. I'm definitely doing that for now. Yeah, and we're not saving any more porno tapes. No, we're throwing those out. Yeah. Why are you doing that? We get anyway? so many porno tapes that we just have so much tape sitting around that we, we use them. But I'm not into saving porno tapes. All right, get out of here. I'm, I'm disgusted right. with you. I, well, you know, and my wife well, said I didn't I yell at Ganji enough. I said I did yell at him. But, I, you know. You did. I said, what am I supposed to do? The guy's Telling retarded. Telling Ganji is not anything he uh, really But I apologize. What was I supposed to do? After, at that point, what was I supposed to do? Well, you should pick up the phone and call my wife's friend. Absolutely, Absolutely I would. I, I would definitely do that. Even my wife said, I want to yell at Ganji, but it's not my place to yell at Ganji. You should yell at him. I said, okay. I said, that's another thing. Now the pressure is i got to sit around and yell at him. Yeah, but... On my vacation. Do I not do a good job for you? No. What? Do I not do Why a do you want to ask that? Do right? you really want to be evaluated on the air oh, right absolutely. now? Well, you absolutely. You want to be evaluated in front of all these people? Is there any other time I'll give you, you an evaluation. In, I'm going to give you an evaluation in private. Yeah, okay. i got Maybe plenty to say to you. Maybe you should start doing that. You know, have six months evaluations. This is sounding more and more like work for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I so have to evaluate it. No, what? Because Ganji walks around thinking he does a fine job. You know what it is? I don't even <laughs> want to know what Ganji's doing. I just want to know he's doing it and taking care of business. I don't okay. want to have to yell at you. I don't want to have to evaluate you. Maybe Laura you should take that. Oh, believe me, I was yelled at. Oh, she yelled at him plenty. <laughs> I think she would get rid of Ganji. It's me who keeps holding on to him. I feel bad for him. You really want me to evaluate you? I'll evaluate you right now if you want it. Oh, I'll evaluate that. you simply. One, a scale of one to ten. Uh huh. You're a two. I'm a two. You're a two. Now, how do you rate that? How do you judge? One what to is ten. your standard? Again, you want more evaluation on the air? Well, what do you you just received a two out of ten points, you and now you want to be explained well, you're just to? Well, you burning out of two. You're not explaining two. where the two comes from. Uh, uh, Why? Uh, Why two? Why not one? Why not ten? No, you're not a one. You're a two. I'm a two. So what is A two? one would be like uh, that kid Corky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's only dubbing the highest score he can get is like three. Yeah, right. I mean, how many points do you want? Yeah. He, wants, he wants a top evaluation for a guy who makes copies of tapes. <laughs> Couldn't give him a simple job. <laughs> yeah. If I gave you something complicated, maybe you could earn extra points. It's like Tanya Harding. If she does a triple a Lutz, that's complicated. Right. Yeah. So she deserves a ten. You're not doing a triple Lutz. No. You klutz. <laughs> I tell you something, I was so angry at him. I, I, I don't even know how to express my anger. It's embarrassing. Because I don't like to be angry at someone. I like to just come in and see you, and that's it. Well, I, I try to do a good job by, you know, I happen to screw up once. Twice. Did you uh, make him cry out? No. 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 
I'm not, it's not, why should I have to work at making him cry? No, That's work for me. That's upset. pressure for me. And you're at home. You're trying to relax. I'm trying to relax. I don't mean that you, did you try. I'm just wondering, you know. You yes, Baba Booey. And Baba Booey, you want to know something? As much as you're smiling through this, no, no, you no. are no better. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> it's because you're so incompetent, I have to assign all your duties to other people. Right. Just so you know that. Good. You're no better than him. You're no better than him. You're a two also. The two and a two. That's a four. There you go. Wow. No, excuse me. You're a 1.5. He's beating you. <laughs> Bring the rest of the staff That's a 3.5. No, not the rest of the staff. You too. Every time I call up, uh, Baba Booey's got everybody doing something else for him. I said, what is this? Can't he do anything? I give Baba Booey Wait, an assignment. Is the one Baba Booey's assignment is to open my mail. Now, you don't want 25 people opening your mail because it could be something personal in there, which Gary knows. I could be getting a letter from someone that's, you know, personal. And I said to Gary, you're the guy who's going to be allowed to open my mail. Call up the other day. I find out. Gary's got the interns opening up the mail. Really? Going through my mail. He's got everyone in the planet going through my mail. My personal mail. Where See, he doesn't tell me there? that. He doesn't tell me that. One day, Kathy opened the mail last week, and you happened to call. That's what happened. Oh, one day this happened. One day. Never happened. On the one day I call, that was the day <laughs> it happened. You're kidding. No. You've never had anyone open your mail before until that one day. Sporadically. Oh, yeah. sporadically now. Now, it was one day. Now, it's sporadically. So it happens more than once. Am I correct? Yes, you are correct. I see. You are correct, Perry Stern. Who else Who else looks through my mail? Does Aqualung, the homeless guy, look through it? Does Cope look through it? Who, who looks we through my mail? It. Tell, me, we tell me who photocopies we my mail. We photocopy it and we send it around the office. Yeah, before you photocopy my mail, genius, let me tell you something. No, 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 no. Let I'm, me tell you something. That was a joke. I Howard. want you... No, 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 hey. no, no, no. no. This, I don't take anything you say as a joke. <laughs> John photocopies your mail. Do you trust... John, John photocopies my mail? Yes. Don't ask me that question if I trust him, because now you've got to photocopy my mail. No, I trust you. I like you. You got low brain pattern. Well, I'm too low to work a copy machine. You are. I'm You're too, too slow. You're too stupid. Too stupid. Yeah, this is the problem. So he's got every. So now, now I'm saying, what does he do exactly all day? Nothing. What does he do all day? Nothing. He comes in here. I see him reading the paper. That he does. I, he reads the paper better than anyone. In fact, he blocks out everything else. He's able to concentrate on the paper. <laughs> I thought this was about Ganji. Well, you walked in with a stump smile on your face. I said, I had you guys a joke, know better. And you're not going to be the beneficiary. I don't want to hear your jokes. There's nothing funny about you commenting on people who can't work. <laughs> I told the both of you not to be stupid. <laughs> I tell you, I got some staff. So he gave the job of the mail. So 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 I I call up the other day and I, and, and uh, Kathy, God bless her, the woman works hard. I said to her, "What are you doing? Why are you so overworked? What's the what's the trouble? I needed her to do something." She says, "It's crazy around here." I said, "What's the trouble, Kathy? Tell me the trouble. I'm going to try and solve it for you. I, I don't want you to be troubled." Well, I got to open the mail and I got I said, "Oh oh 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 I said, what do you mean you're opening the mail? Whoa. I said, wait a second. Who's opening the mail there? I, I gave Baba Fofo. What mail are you opening? She goes, well, he's very busy today. I said, Fafa Foey is busy. What is he so busy with that he... Uh, first of all, I want Fafa Foey opening my mail. I don't want now two people opening my mail. And this is a vacation week. This was my vacation week. So this is your usual stuff that Gary needs to be doing on a daily basis. As right. producer of the show is not even there. But, but because, please, he doesn't do anything. But I'm just uh, saying, right, yes. maybe there would be something else you'd need from His him. His regular duties were not even being attended right. to. And he couldn't open the mail. Couldn't open the mail. He was too busy. God knows what he was doing. Well, Wolf, I got best of. I got best of. I got best of. So there's a duty. Don't get overwhelmed. That's my biggest job. I don't, I don't have mail opening time, Wolf. <laughs> I chew open the letters of all. I steam them with my breath. <laughs> So he couldn't open the mail, so Kathy had to open the mail. <laughs> and I started yelling because I don't want Kathy opening the mail. Yeah. That's not I'll, Kathy's job. Follow up. <laughs> but I'm not, I don't want to be running this. I, I don't, I don't want to play the super cop here. 
I want someone else Don't to do that. Don't you have an administrator? No. Um. No. Gary, I think Gary, I want someone in charge here. Who should be in charge? I can't be Gary. Maybe I'll put Kathy in charge. But I don't know if she has the balls to tell these guys off. I think she does. She does? I don't think she thinks she has the authority. All right, I am restructuring. Oh, oh Gary and Kathy come in here now. I have a whole new program that I am in, I am going to, uh, this is like being governor. Buff up flunky. Come in here, where's Kathy? You, she's on her way in. All right, good. Howard, you have to be the administrator. No, 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 Right. You mean I every day have to be checked in with to, no, re to, to no. say that you have to open the mail? No, you don't. You're telling me that I have to every day remind you that you open the mail? How could you be the final word when he's always giving away the jobs you give him? That's all I do. Kathy, Robert, come here. I've decided that you are a ten to a hundred times more competent. A thousand. Go oh, nuts. Thank you. Go nuts. A, a thousand. thousand times a more million. competent than anyone <laughs> here. No, Infinity. No, no, no. Listen carefully, Kathy. Uh, uh, ways eight. Gary, listen carefully because this is a new law around here. here. Kathy, yeah. from now on, you are me. Now understand this. What this means? Listen. Understand what this Kathy. means. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is what this means. What you say here in this office yes. is as if it's coming from me. Okay, that's great. Now, what does Gary do? What is his duties? Well, what Gary, have we decided for him to do? Gary produces. He makes sure we get lots of good guests. Right. And uh, right. He controls best of. He's okay. Got all the best things right. in show. Best of. He produces whatever. That's a quasi description of I what he does. I go through the mail, listen to all ah, the audio ah, read the go article. The okay, now, if you ever hear Fafa Funi come to you and say, I can't do my job, tell him to go do his job. Okay. So he has to stay another hour. Or or prioritize oh, for him. If he's got a couple oh, of jobs to do and he doesn't know which one is more important. Yeah, when you see steam coming out of his head. <laughs> and Kathy, could you do me one more favor? Yeah. Could you come over to my house in the morning and tie my shoes for me? I'm too <laughs> retarded to tie them. No, you're going to have to learn to tie your shoes yourself. In fact, buy me penny loafers. If you're at the point that you can't tie your shoes, then uh, we can't help you. Okay, enough of this bickering. All right, in other words, Kathy, from now on, you know how it's always been sort of uncomfortable where you can't decide if you're Gary's boss or Gary's your boss right. or what it is? Uh -huh. You are his boss. All you right. are everyone's boss here. I feel a weight lifted off my back. Good. <laughs> Kathy now is the senior person at the show. You make, I can't blame anything that goes wrong on Gary anymore? No, nope. that's right. It's, I know it's more responsibility. And unfortunately, there's no more money in it either, <laughs> having all this that. responsibility. But you are the only competent person here, oh, I've decided. You. I now, think, think uh, congratulations true. on your new title and your new responsibility. For 1194 at 905, I have relinquished my responsibility. Good, because you know what you do anyway. You, you throw all your work onto other people. Does that mean Gary's no longer responsible for the interns? No, Gary was never responsible for the interns. That's right, Kathy became responsible. Kathy is responsible. Oh. Kathy has slowly taken over everything, so she might as well be his boss. Hmm. You are now all these people's boss. What's you are, my new title? Well, give, give yourself one. B A W F. Both. <laughs> Good. I like that. Both. You are both. Two. You are both. Gary has to call me both now. Proxy both. <laughs> Kathy, Lieutenant what Bolf. should I do now, both? <laughs> there you go. Get to work, Gary. What are you doing in the studio, fooling around? Oh man. And as far as you go, when since when don't you know about opening mail? You know that's confidential between me and you. Why would you hand that over to other people? From time to time, somebody opens it. The mail has gotten so big that it just... Yeah, but Gary, discuss things with me or your new Volf. My new Volf. Would you mind repeating so I know that you understand this? You in really this, screwed in up. In this instance, no, I don't All right, mind thank repeating. You. I, I and I alone and I alone will open my Volf's mail. Will open my Volf's mail. No one else. <laughs> no one else. But me, myself, and I. But me, myself, and I. Volf. Volf. Only I will, those three people. I will not assign mail. <laughs> I will not assign mail. Opening. Opening to other people, my Volf, because you Volf don't want that. Huh? <laughs> I, I will open letters. Will open letters. Copy them. Copy them. And be a merry mailman for my Volf. And be a merry mailman for my Volf. Forever. Forever. I, I am, am as, as dumb, dumb as, as a, a letter, letter opener. Opener. All right, very good. And, and as volatile. Yeah, well, your boss now is Kathy Tobin. Take it up with her. Yeah, let's get her on a Federal Express plane. I'll be like one of those kooky postal workers. Yeah, well, she's your Uber Fuhrer, and that's it. All right, very good. All right, and Gagey, congratulations to you on another fine job done. Thank you, I, thank you very much. Yeah, proving your competence. I got some letter from this guy.
that um, the, 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 I the husband was it did a have, horrible, horrible letter. It did have get. a nasty tone. Yeah, to and it. you know what? I, my wife was just trying to do something nice, but Ganji ruined it. Can you blame the guy for being upset? Yeah, I mean, you know, who wants porno? <laughs> Besides it's me, some question. No problem. <laughs> he sent it to me. I mean, you know what's more embarrassing? Not only did I get a nasty letter, but Tobin opened it up. <laughs> so now the whole office has to read it. <laughs> That's amazing to me, Gary, that I entrusted you with my mail and you just, you just <sighs> threw it away. Could you carry on some more? Yeah, I, oh, I will after the show. Thank uh, you, please? thank you. I will carry. I'll, I, I will you. fulfill your request. I know you will. Yes, I will. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all. No, thank Kathy, you. Kathy, congratulations to you. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> Danji, I, I, I know you don't have much to work with, Kathy, but they're all yours. Well, I, I wondered who was in uh, charge of the interns anymore. Well, because now it's all clear. There was, a, there there was, was obviously a some confusion. Yeah, because that time they called an intern meeting because Gary was losing control of the interns. Yeah. I thought he was still in control. <laughs> no, no, he uh, relinquished that as well. I see. He always walks out of those meetings with a big weight lifted off his shoulder. Oh... I don't have to worry about that anymore. Kathy worries about it. Mm -hmm. So now it's clear. Kathy is Gary's boss. All right. All right? Let's see how that works. So now he cannot give her the mail because no, that's she not... is his boss. Right. <laughs> yeah. Robin, not only do you not know anything about intern meetings, you don't know anything about dealing with people. Now so that I'm... should be the end of the sentence right there. Now I'm... I was talking if you were in charge, And I'm talking to you. If you were in charge of the intern meetings, you'd have a knife in your back. Howard. That's all. Now, now I'm free to read Newsday. <laughs> now go carry your tapes away. <laughs> you hunched over like a monkey. <laughs> What did you say? What did you say? You're scaring so many tapes. You hunched over like a monkey. <laughs> oh, boy. It's like a circus around here. He's going to come through the door. He's going to be throwing the hey, What did you say that was so bad? All I said was, and now he cannot ask Kathy to do the mail because she's his boss. Right. No, that's his responsibility. That's his responsibility. Him and that Ganji. Ganji making copies. I'm making copies. Making copies, Bull. Him and Scott are down there loading up. I mean, if you had a porno movie and you were sitting there making a copy over it, which is cool, I don't mind him be, you know, being smart and taking uh, tapes and reusing them. What's his heck? Especially a porn yeah, tape. Right. I'd make sure something was going on that that yeah. was erasing whatever was there. I wish I was that and witty. And that it ran all the way through to the end. You yeah. don't want all of a right. sudden well, I told him a porno He's supposed up. to bulk all the tapes. He's supposed to bulk erase them, which I bought him a bulk eraser for, but he doesn't do it. Lazy. So he screwed up on a bunch of areas. <laughs> so that was my week off, dealing with all the mess. <laughs> Then I yell at my wife, what are you such a do-gooder for? What? Stop sending tapes. Don't have a nice impulse. Yeah, I said, please. Then I get the... First of all, why would a husband write to me? Because he didn't had... think your wife would do that. No, I have... I had nothing to do with it. It was my <laughs> wife's tapes. I mean, why am I being written to because of my wife's actions? What am I, her... what am I, her parent? He probably thought she got her husband to do this and look at yeah. Howard Stern's wife. Oh, please, please, please. That's sexist. Yeah, it's me. That's a sexist thing. Yeah. Are you going to continue with this? Why? What's it to you? It... Well, get out of here. Oh. Right, what are you, are you, what's the matter? Are you uncomfortable with the subject? Yeah. Where Where is this bulk eraser that I'm supposed to use? You don't even know where it is, do you? No. <laughs> it is right in. It is in the back room there on uh -huh. a windowsill, plugged in for your use. And and that erases. That erases all the tapes. That erases tapes. Th yes. See, I didn't know. But how long you've been you been working in radio? Erased? Well, what do you think a bulk eraser is? I know that it erases audio tape. I don't know. Well, what do you think audio video and videotape is? It demagnetizes the tape. That's all it is. It's magnetic. But audio tape yeah. is metal on a tape. Yeah. It's and so what do you think videotape is? I don't know. What is videotape? Well, why don't you look it up in your in your uh, book? My college your handbook? college book, your CW post book. <laughs> you know what happened? Uh, what? And, uh, and be careful around that bulk eraser because Gary once fell asleep on it. Use it as a pillow. His head rested on it and erased his brain. <laughs> Stole his, stole his whole thoughts. <laughs> <laughs>
you go. No. It's a thing. You press a red button. You haven't right. seen oh, another yeah, one? I've, I've that seen thing that you're supposed right to be right. using. Okay. All right. Very I didn't good. know that was for you video didn't know. tape. All I right. just thought that was for audio. I, I should have been more uh -huh. thorough in my description. <laughs> uh, your head is resting on a Ganji. Wait, you're sucking out some of the life out of your brain. Pop, pop, pop. Well, just, just to recap, that uh, nothing will happen like this ever again. All right, I'll All right. take you at your word. Nothing will ever right, happen. Right. Well, Dave, you probably <laughs> never be asked to do anything like that again. Yeah, we, you, I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to find someone. I'm gonna have to find my kids. They're like seven years old, and they know how to use the uh, the bulk eraser. Well, I've been giving them Playboy now, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he sends Playboy to my kids. Yeah. Playboy tapes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ganji. All right. The king I of porno. I try. Yeah, you try. You try real hard. You know what it is, Ganji? I'm going to tell you something about yourself, and you got to learn this. In your mind, you think you should be a TV producer or some kind of big executive right, or a exactly. radio guy. Yeah. And you feel the work that you're doing for me is demeaning. No, or no that's trivial. Trivial. But I'll tell you something. As far as I can see, on the job market, I seem uh -huh. to be the only one willing to hire you right now. And maybe in the future that will change. Uh-huh. But since I'm giving you the work, at least put right. your heart into it and I stop do. dreaming yeah. about big-time jobs. If you do this right, maybe I'll give you a big-time job. I was just about to give you a big-time job, <laughs> and now I'm not, I reduced you down in my, in, in my eyes. I screwed it up after one was Years of faithful service. You want to know something? I tell you something. Ralph is a better tape dubber than you. And all the practice you get. Ralph. Ralph makes tapes for me oh, all day. That's a, that's a lie. All right. His videos come. They're, they're, they're all fuzzy. Well, I, fuzzy I get them. Fuzzy is because he has bad equipment, but that's well. not his fault. You're rough without the good qualities. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank All you. the years of faithful service, and this is what I get. Well, uh, listen. Who knows if your service has been so faithful? You better go back and check all those. I got to go back now and really check three thousand tapes. Let's, let's check yeah. and let's check. We can all find right. all the well, other. Well, let's see what happens. We can find all the other mistakes that I've caught, and I've saved a lot of time by by uh. All right. Okay. Very good. Thank stuff you. Stuff like that. All uh, the I've done. Okay. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> You're only as good as your last show, my friend. Remember that. Well, my next same in radio. I might have done a good show ten years ago. I still got to do a good show today. So well, let's, let's don't tell me about all the good shows you did. Tell me about the show you did today. Well, I'm working today, so I told you not to be stupid, you moron. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you. I thought I told him not to be stupid. Always complaining that he's in a dead end job. Yeah, dead end job. <laughs> dead end job. This is the most happening job he's gonna have. <laughs> dead end job. <laughs> 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 Dead end. I didn't have a chance to tell you about my trip to Atlantic City. <laughs> but I got to take a break, Rob. We'll be back right after uh. this.